So everything you need to make this build really is here in front of me. Run Cam Night Eagle HD, the night vision camera. And then we have a package with uh, Bava 20 uh, from Beta F FPV. And uh, this is what everything else you will need for the build. So this is the drone itself with the uh, unit. I will put it together soon. We need a battery to power it and the screws and everything that follows with the drone. Uh, you need uh, some small tools, the soldering iron. I got this tiny one uh, called a TS, TS-101 soldering iron. And uh, it seems to work great. It heats up really fast and you can power it both with a, a USB-C cable or a DC input, like from a 12 volt source. Some uh, solder. Uh, then you need a pair of goggles and a controller. I chose to use, reuse my DJI controller as I uh, didn't want to buy a new one. And I had a little bit of trouble setting it up the first time, but I got help from a, a viewer uh, who commented on my last video with some tips on how to get it started. So let's move this out of the way. So if we take a look at the drone itself here, uh, the VTX, the run cam link here. You need to solder it yourself when you buy it. There is a guide with the drone itself here on how to wire it. You can, in this case, you could just follow the instructions that came with the VTX. As I checked with the flight controller, flight controller and the RX and TX are in the right position so you connect from the rx to the tx from the tx to the rx connection on the flight controller and uh, red and black and so on you have to check it on the flight controller and the uh, vtx here that they are the same so on the back side here we can we'll have to disconnect this so i can show you i need to put some screws in Let's see if i can get it get it out so on the frame itself you get these little rubber grommets, or what you could call them, that are in the package. I'll show you have an extra here. You get these little rubber grommets, like I said, that you can squeeze together and uh, make them go through these holes for the screws. And you use the half long screws uh, to get them through the frame here. So you can attach them this uh, crossbar where the VTX is mounted and when you're setting up this one check that you have the screw sides should be upward or downwards towards towards the drone and the nuts on top of the VTX so you get it in the right order as I noticed the nuts are a bit uh, too thick on the underside or it might work actually yeah I think I want to have them on that side the VTX, you just check that you have the antenna side and the connections are downwards towards the drone when you're putting it in uh, into the frame. So you get it the right way around and it fits just like that. And the an antenna, uh, you can put it in first and then attach it here. And then you will have a, a small metal plate you want to put through too. So to secure the antenna properly, you put it like that and you want to, there is a tiny little uh, peg, metallic peg here that you need to hit and then you put the little screw here. And this one is attached from the beginning when you get the VTX so you need to loosen it to open this cover so you can get the antenna attached here. So you put the antenna through first otherwise it won't go through the frame properly. That or it will be difficult to try and screw this into place while it's uh, connected to the frame and so on. So then you want to have the X frame. I'm still trying to decide if I want to have the nuts on what side of the VTX. Let's see if it, yeah, that looks fine. We can do it like that. Let's put the rest of the screws here like that, and then on with the nut. You don't want to have two shaky hands while doing this. Don't tighten them too much before you have gotten all the screws through. And then the last one like that. Just hold the finger on the other side to 
make sure they don't spin around something like that the camera is attached just with the two screws that came with the came in the package and we'll just twist the cable here behind it then we want to get this aligned on the drone itself as the, there are nuts um, on the frame itself that attach go through the X frame and that's the point you attach it to the screws with the grommets. Oh, that's the solder. Let's see now. Oh, and before you attach this, like I did now, so before you start to put it in place, try and get the connection here through this little hole so you have it a little bit under the VTX instead of hang hanging loose from the side. I had the uh, cut it to be a bit shorter uh, than when it came and also you can pull off the propeller here to make it easier if you want to but i don't want to so i make it hard for myself let me get it through there see that it's seated properly and then check that you can get the screws in place and so you don't squeeze any of the other cables we want the camera cable to Get under it like that. And here, you really don't want the cable to be cables to be so they can be cut by the propeller. Something like that. Two more. Let's. And uh, you don't want to over tighten this, so you still have a little bit of play with the frame. I think. And I think I have gone a bit too far. I'm sure. So that's pretty much the drone itself. And uh, you can, you will get a LED light in the kit when you buy the drone itself. Uh, I bought a blue one to have instead of the white one that follows with the drone itself. Let's see if we can attach it to here. And uh, here you want to have a clean surface. So I, have, I should have some there. Here are some alcohol wipes. There was the glue won't attach as good on the plastic some kind of screen cleaning wipes I think not alcohol wipes but I think it will do mostly to get the grease from the fingerprints off so let's see you want to start from the back end here where you can where you will connect the light itself see. yeah it's enough and just remove the sticker itself it's not super hard keep pushing it into place it should hopefully stick Properly. can pull back a bit and put it back and then we are at the end here and here you want to see on the LED strip itself you have these points with the connections and that's where you can cut them I think uh, we'll have to see I'll get some something to cut with do it with a pair of scissors Just going around and pushing it in one extra time. I think it's pretty much done. So let's see the and I will show you in the how you set it up on your computer. You need to update everything from the uh, VTX to the goggles and everything else. So you have everything on the latest firmware.